You know that feeling when everyone around you seems to be living by a certain set of rules and you're just not feeling it? That's what we're tackling today. I'm going to discuss the most common mistake people make when living by others' rules. I have a feeling this video is going to be a game changer for many of you out there. Hi, I'm Elizabeth, and on this channel, I help women overcome stress, anxiety, and other mental health challenges by using the therapeutic power of mindfulness and creative expression. So, the first thing we need to talk about is why we feel the pressure to conform in the first place. When I was younger, I used to think that I had to fit into a certain mold to be accepted. And you know what? I ended up feeling so unhappy and unfulfilled. That's when I realized that the pressure to conform is a result of our natural desire to be accepted and to belong. But the thing is, fitting in isn't always the best route to happiness. In fact, it can lead to what Henry David Thoreau called a life of quiet desperation. By that, he was sharing his observation that most people live an empty life, caused by unfulfilling work, lack of leisure time, and misplaced values, money, possessions, accolades. So how do we resist the pressure to conform? I'm actually going to look at the top three mistakes that people make when living by somebody else's rules, when following in someone else's path, when blindly accepting that this is the way to achieve the things that maybe your culture tells you that you need to achieve. So let's talk about these one by one. Mistake number one is ignoring your uniqueness. Have you ever thought about what makes you, you? What traits and qualities that if removed from you would render you unrecognizable? Let me tell you a story about my dear friend, Sarah. Sarah is a brilliant artist and her whimsical, colorful paintings are just magical. But for years, she hid her talents because she thought being an artist wouldn't be taken seriously by her family and her friends. She believed that pursuing a practical career would be the only way to gain their respect. One day, Sarah and I sat down and made a list of what made her special and different from everyone else. We talked about her creative spirit, her ability to find beauty in the mundane, and her incredible storytelling skills. By the end of our conversation, Sarah was in tears. She realized that her artistic talents were the very essence of who she was, and by hiding them, she was denying her true self. So Sarah made a bold decision. She quit her job and she dedicated herself to her art full time. And you know what? Not only did her family and friends support her, but they were also amazed by her courage and the incredible work she produced. Just like Sarah, start by making a list of what makes you special and different from everyone else. Write down your talents, your passions, your quirks, anything that sets you apart. This will help you see the beauty in your uniqueness, and it will empower you to embrace your true self, no matter what the world around you may say. Mistake number two, surrounding yourself with the wrong people. You know that saying, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with? It's so true. The people we choose to be around have a significant impact on our lives, our mindset, and our self-esteem. Let me share a story about Maya Angelou. As a celebrated poet, memoirist, and civil rights activist, Maya Angelou was no stranger to standing up for what she believed in and staying true to herself. And a big part of that came from the company she kept. Throughout her life, Angelou surrounded herself with influential, supportive figures like James Baldwin, Oprah Winfrey, and Martin Luther King Jr., all of whom encouraged her to be her true self and pursue her passions. By having such inspiring individuals in her circle, Angelou was able to thrive and develop her unique voice as a writer and speaker. Her friends not only celebrated her quirks, but they also provided her with a supportive environment that helped her grow and helped her succeed. But look, you don't need celebrity friends. You just need to surround yourself with people who celebrate your quirks and encourage you to be your true self. And just as importantly, don't be afraid to cut ties with toxic people who constantly bring you down. It's not always easy, but remember, your mental health and well-being are at stake here. Just imagine what you could achieve by surrounding yourself with people who uplift you and support your dreams. You'll feel more confident in your abilities, and you'll be empowered to break free from the pressure to conform to external expectations. Okay, 
And the final mistake, mistake number three, is adopting someone else's definition of success. To stop living by someone else's rules, you must first define success and happiness on your own terms. This is such an important step in resisting the pressure to conform because it allows you to create your own path in life, one that is uniquely yours. For example, I used to think that having a high paying corporate job was the only path to success. I was working long hours, always trying to climb the corporate ladder, and I never had time for myself or the things that truly brought me joy. And deep down, I was miserable. I had adopted someone else's definition of success without even realizing that's what I was doing. So when I made the decision to pursue my passion and make it my career, it was absolutely terrifying. Yeah, I could have failed. I can still fail. And I had to come to terms with that possibility being okay should it happen. I had to understand that I was going to be okay should that happen. Over the years, I realized that for me, success is not about financial gain or social status. It's about doing what I love, being true to myself, and making a difference in other people's lives. I discovered that when I make work that inspires and uplifts others, it not only brings me a deep sense of fulfillment, but it also allows me to connect with people on a whole new level. So if you want to break free from the pressure to conform, it's essential to define success and happiness on your own terms. Take a moment to reflect on what truly matters to you, what brings you joy, and what kind of impact you want to have on the world. Once you have a clear vision of your own definition of success, you'll be empowered to live a life that is authentic, fulfilling, and true to who you really are. Look, I know that breaking free from the pressure to conform is not easy, but I promise you it's so worth it. And it all starts with correcting those three mistakes. To help you on your journey, I took this painting you watch me create here and I turned it into a digital piece of printable art that is designed to remind you to resist the pressure to conform and stay true to yourself. The digital piece is currently on sale in my Etsy store and there's a link in the description below if you're interested in having a physical reminder that you can do this. That's it for today, lovelies. I truly hope this video helps you resist the pressure to conform, even if it's in a small way today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.